he told me that he just wasn't happy that he had been married for a long time. And I didn't know at first if it was the work or his marriage that was making him so unhappy because he worked all the time too. But he seems to, you know, he loved to work. I mean, he loved the job, he loved his companies. I didn't want to get involved between anything between those two. It was something that he had to deal with. And I mean, he was very serious about me as far as like when him and I talked, every day he made sure that he, you know, talked to me and I, I really felt that he cared about me a lot and, you know, he would tell me he loved me every day, all day long, in my emails and in emails to me. He made sure that I knew he was there all the time and if I needed anything to call him. She uh, called me and was yelling at me and screaming at me and I couldn't understand a lot of it because she had an accent. She said one time, uh, she said that she was trying to offer me some money to um, leave him alone. No, no, I told her no right then and there, in a way. And then another time she claimed to be me and had my electric turned off, which meant she had my social security number. She called up the condo where I lived at like six months before he died and told the people at the front desk that he couldn't pay my rent anymore because he was dead. And this is six months before then. It frightened me. I was scared. I mean that, and I mean, but I, I don't understand, you know, why he wasn't, it didn't take it more seriously because I mean, especially after that 2002 thing. And then to hear that, I mean, I was like, just why don't you just give her what she wants? Just give her whatever she wants. His response to me was it was about the company that he, he had built that company or whatever and that she wanted too much of it or, you know, that that was the one thing that he wasn't willing to negotiate. And that was the whole problem was over the company.